Pisces, hello, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading. Now I'm going to pull an overarching tarot card this week. Um, so mainly tarot with an uncle card at the end. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. This is the tarot brand Lux. One of my favourite decks. I like the energy of these cards. They're very good. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What is the overarching energy? That flew out. <laughs> so I've got a Piscean energy, actually. The Eight of Cups. Message for Pisces, please, Angel Spirits Guides, 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, starting with the challenge position. So I, I'm going to pull three cards, you know by now, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, Pisces, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Pisces, thank you. Message for Pisces, thank you. Third to the ninth of May, 2021, Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. So your challenge, we've got the devil. Best place for the devil is in the challenge position. <laughs> okay, um, advice from Spirit, another major arcana. Wow, judgment. Oh my goodness, Pisces. But I like that energy in the near future, the Three of Wands, okay? Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. Message for Pisces, please, 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Please, Angel Spirits Guides. The Four of Cups. Six of Swords. Wow, King of Wands. With the Three of Wands, bottom of the deck. The Star. Interesting. Begin, begin, beginning and end of these readings, Star liberates from the devil, which is interesting. Okay, and you are liberating. You are, because for some of you, I, I've got this feeling, you know, the, the words that came into my mind as I was shuffling was, I'm done. I'm done. Whatever this context is, Pisces, you know, whether it's work, whether it's family, whether it's relationships, friendships, call it what you will. This is somebody who is walking away from something that doesn't serve them anymore. It can represent disappointment. It can represent something not living up to expectation. It's a card of abandoning old hopes, old dreams, old wishes that you placed on somebody um, in order to replace them with new ones, new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. It's interesting because we have dare to dream at the end here. So there is definitely an energy here of you are liberating this week, or some of you are choosing to liberate yourself from a situation that doesn't serve you. Because there's a feeling of giving deep thought on how you're going to move forward. And it feels intuitively you know what you need to do with that Four of Cups. Because spirit is, is speaking to you through your intuition. You're a highly intuitive sign. 12th house energy, Pisces energy, you know, certainly with the Eight of Cups. You are really connecting to your intuition and what you've been giving deep thought to, where your intuition has been pulling you in a specific direction. It feels like you're listening to it and taking action. And what are you walking away from? The devil. Devil can be shadow energy, you know, it can be negative energy. I mean, we have a Capricorn here as well. Um, 
But the devil is a card of boundaries, restriction, um, attachment, something that is difficult to break free of. Because the devil is so alluring. It really is. It's attractive. Um, can be to do with relationships in whatever context. Can, generally unhealthy relationships, manipulation, power struggles, feeling powerless in a situation. Somebody we get, you know, it can be something or someone we give power to. Uh, but it definitely feels in this situation, Pisces, you're, you're done with that. I mean, it can also be addiction and um, codependency, you know, I mean, call it what you will. But it is about breaking free of a difficult, an attachment that's difficult to break free of. It's, a, it's, a, it's an illusionary energy, the devil. But it, it creates a lot of instability. You don't feel secure with the devil. You feel unstable. Um, so the advice from spirit is, this is the call to action. A wake up call even for some of you. It feels like a wake up call. Because spirit is nudging you. This is, you know, there are four cups here, four opportunities, four directions, you know, four possibilities, whatever you want to call it. But there's one cup, one root that you're being guided to. And it feels in this situation, your instinct is telling you how you want to deal with this devil. And it's about listening to that because the judgment, again, karmic energy, um, it is about stepping out of the dark into your light. It is about some kind of judgment call. It's a call to action, a wake-up call. Can be to do with a decision here. And generally, it's a karmic decision. So when judgment appears, it's a decision that will stay with you for quite some time. So you're generally told to give it some deep thought. But I really do think with the Four of Cups, you've been given this some deep thought, Pisces. Um, and now you're getting the clarity in how you want to move forward with that sword energy, which is to do with the mind, our perspective, our thought patterns, our decisions. Um, because this is somebody who is moving from troubled waters to calmer waters. You can see they're, they're deciding which direction they're going in. They have an opportunity to heal, to release stress, to put what has been a difficult situation behind them. This is a card of detachment. It, you're breaking free. It's almost like judgment is saying break free. Something isn't healthy for you, Pisces. Something doesn't feel healthy. Um, in whatever context this is, there's, a, there's karmic energy, which I don't see very often, saying break free of an attachment here. That's the advice from spirit. Now, obviously, it doesn't resonate for everybody. You have to take what resonates for you. But... It seems like what judgment is, is saying here is very much in line with what your intuition is telling you with the Eight of Cups. Because we have the King of Wands and we have the Three of Wands. So the King of Wands is, it feels as an energy. The King of Wands is somebody who takes, this, sits in their power. They don't give power to the devil. They sit in their power. So kind of like the opposite of what the devil represents in some way. Um, this is somebody who's taking their power back. And it feels turning their back on a situation that's no longer serving them. Because, you know, that three of wands, it feels like new horizons. Um, it's a card of manifestation, the three as well. I'm opening my mind to... A new vision and I'm taking action in this direction and this is the beginnings of progress with the three of wands now the three of wands is the beginnings of success coming your way it's very good in terms of money career business um, but it can also be about just be ready to open up your world um, 
Now, the King of Wands can be a person as well, generally a Leo, male or female energy, and they can offer you a wand as well. So again, there could be some opportunity. And the, the wands is very much connected to your heart, soul, passion. So whatever this is, Pisces, um, it feels it's coming your way. The beginnings of success, the beginning of new horizons, manifesting a new path, uh, putting your energy into bringing growth on a new path is definitely for some of you what you're doing. Uh, this is the beginnings of success and it feels to do with a new path because I have a new path here. Uh, and the star is a card of, of liberation, certainly with that devil energy, but this is about dreams. This is about hope, new hope, reasons to be optimistic. And whatever path you're deciding to go down, there are blessings on the path. You know, this is the path that you are on is the right path for you. You will make the right decision. You, If you're listening to your intuition, you will head in the right direction. Um, and this is about divine wish fulfillment. You know, if you take action in the direction that spirit is leading you towards, with trusting your intuition in what feels right, it definitely feels for some of you there are greater blessings ahead. It's new world energy, you know, and I, I definitely get this energy here, Pisces. You're, you're, you're liberating, you're cutting cords with something that doesn't serve you anymore. And it, it feels like a great liberating energy, but there is some call to action. You know, sometimes that four of cups can be about apathy, boredom, not taking action towards how your intuition is guiding you. And that's how you remain trapped in that devil energy. So it, it feels the time is now to act. And that's what you're being told because greater blessings are ahead. And it's a time of new dreams where you're abandoning. It feels to do with old hopes, old dreams. Um, it definitely feels in this situation, this is about focusing on new dreams. But for some of you, there is some kind of judgment call or decision or a call to action that you need to take this week. Like I said, take what resonates with you. So we have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Cups, heart energy, emotions, feelings. Yeah. That is the answer, that cup that you're being offered by the universe. It definitely feels some of you already have the answer. There's just an energy of, there is some call to action here that some of you are being asked to take. And when you deal with it, you feel so much better. Things get more harmonic. Uh, you get the equilibrium back in your life. And there's real hope and promise for the future. It feels very beautiful. You know, and I feel good things coming towards you, whatever that represents for you. It could be to do with passion. It could be to do with career. But the ships are coming in. There's definitely an energy of the ships are coming in here. So dare to dream, you know, um, lovely energy. So I'm going to pull, sorry, I'm going to finish it there, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.